Hey everyone, welcome back to Pro Dealer Secrets. Today we're going to get over part three of a 10 part series on 10 ways to sell 10 more cars this month. So part three, we're going to talk about um, collecting as many reviews as possible. And we're going to go over how to do that, what that means, and uh, some mind-blowing statistics that you're probably not going to believe, but uh, could really change your business. So three, collect as many reviews as humanly possible, and preferably more than humanly possible, because reviews are going to change the game for you. So last video we talked about uh, pictures, and pictures and reviews, those two things will make selling so much easier. And one, because pictures makes a car look so much better, and then reviews make your business look so much better. Because people, they look up, every, you know, what was it? 89 or 90 percent of all people will look up a business online before they visit the business so they're gonna look you up they're gonna look for reviews and information about your your uh, dealership to see if they should visit you and if you have excellent reviews then that is going to be a positive so give me an example you know you know about our dealership and you know we have a ton of reviews 500 reviews almost and it makes selling cars so much easier and not only that, when you get a lot of reviews, you get a lot of Google traffic because Google will push you towards the top of when someone searches for car dealership. Just in the last month, we have had nearly 11,000 views in the last month. Our website is a third of that. We get more views on Google than our website, like three times more. When well, someone searches a car dealership, you know, of course, we'll show up because it's local. Well, let's say, you know, they, uh, we're going to do a private window. That way Google doesn't have me cookie. You know, if these type in used car dealer, Tulsa, you know, usually we'll show up towards the top. And we're talking about, you know, out of this whole area, you know, we're showing up at the top because we have more reviews than drive time. We have more reviews than most dealerships, period, including new car dealers. You know, all these huge dealers, CarMax, CarMax just barely edged. We even have higher reviews in CarMax, so 4.2 for CarMax, and we're 4.5. So, we have a huge competitive advantage. People, you know, they can't deny that we're the, the top rated dealer in the area, and it helps us sell cars so much easier, so much easier. Um... Typically, the, the numbers that I see are really important is you must have at least 100 reviews. Um, over, you know, three to 500 is like the perfect place to get to, but really the dream is to get over 1,000. So you really, you never want to stop doing this. And I've only been doing reviews heavily for about two years, and we got to 500. And if I would have been doing it heavily for the past five or six years, you know, we'd be at 1,000. And uh, that'd be a huge deal. Nobody in the area has anywhere close to a thousand. So the way that we do this, um, you know, we have customers in in the dealership, and they're checking out. And you know, during paperwork and just after the paperwork, uh, we'll ask them. We'll say, "Hey, you know, do you mind leaving us a, re a review on Google? It helps us a ton. You know, and we'll give you a ten dollar gas card um, to Quick Trip or a gift card. You know, we'll do that as well." Sometimes uh, what we'll, we'll say in person is, you know, we'll give you a $10 gas card if you can leave us a review on Google and uh, it helps more people find us and it takes like a few seconds. And they'll say, you know, usually they'll say, oh yeah, no problem. Or if they say they have no phone or whatever, whatever. But most people will do it and then we'll give them a gift card. Now you might say, I'm not giving everybody $10 for a review. Well, let me, let me tell you this. I have 495 reviews. If I would have paid $10 for every review, and I, uh, I didn't, but I would have spent $5,000 on all these reviews. And that we make that much back every month easily. Just in the fact that our dealership sells 50 or 60 a month, and a lot of people see us on Google. Like, it is a worthy investment. And not only that, I sold, I sold, my, I sold this business two months ago. And most of this purchase price was in the brand name and the reviews and the website and like the value of the business like this name is now worth something because of the reviews the reputation and I made a lot of money off of that 
certainly way, way more than 5,000. So it is a good investment. Now, what do you do if they don't you know, leave a review on the spot? Well, what we do is we text every customer you know, once or twice a month from the past month, and we ask them to you know, text them and say, hey, can you leave a review? And instead of a gas card, you know, we'll send them a Amazon SMS text gift card. So that's what it looks like. Um, yep, that's the one. So you can text a gift card directly to their phone, just like this. So, you know, just a little design. You can make it any amount. You know, we usually do $10. You can text it to them. You know, type in their phone number right here. And then you could type in a little message. Say, hey, thank you for your review. And we actually put our, our referrals. Because um, people that are leaving reviews are more likely to refer people. You're just like that and then they get a text message this is what it says you know they can click on it and immediately add it to their account you don't have to do anything you don't have to deliver anything it's very easy and the customer is very happy and then this is uh this is how we we do it here i'm going to show you our template so this is the texting template for you know every month we'll we'll text all of our customers that didn't leave a review and we'll you know we'll give them this text message right here this is Anthony with Ocean Auto Sales. Would you mind leaving us an honest review on Google? It takes less than 30 seconds, but it helps more people find us. Thank you so much. We'll text you a $10 gift card. And then you want to include the link, link to your Google page here, which is very easy. You, just, uh, you go to the Google Maps listing, and you go to the Share button. And then you, there's a little short link, so go to Share copy this little link right here and then you just take this template and paste it right here then when somebody clicks on it you know they'll go directly to the google page and when they scroll down there will be um right here there'll be like five little stars they can highlight and then here's the link to the amazon gift cards that i just showed you um and this is kind of a you know little blurb just like we have here and I'm going to include this document right here um, actually not the document I'm just going to paste this template right below including that link so you'll I'll paste all this information and I'll paste all this information you'll have it all below the video now remember when you are asking for a review you know technically according to Google you cannot use the words you know five star review you must say objective or honest review and, uh, you know, most people, they leave a four or five star review. Most people leave a five star review. But really, um, it doesn't matter with enough volume. Once you have four or 500 reviews, a bad review just does not register. Like, people do not care. Because when they look up our, our dealership, you know, sure, we have some bad reviews. But we have 90, 95% good reviews. So, of course, we're going to have some bad reviews with that much volume. The thing is, when you have 10 reviews and you have two bad reviews that makes your star rating look terrible our star rating has not changed in a year since we got over 200 reviews and you know every time we get a bad review we just go out and get 10 or 20 more good reviews just because it you know it's a motivation factor and if you do that you will not have to worry about bad reviews and people expect bad reviews on businesses that's just how it is so you know don't worry about that and especially the more reviews you get the less it matters so that is going to be today's video. Um, great information. I'm going to show you an article and some insight real quick. So here is some insights on how many views that we get to our, this is our Google business page. This is somebody going to Google, checking us out on maps. And uh, we, we had 7,600 searches last month. Um, we got 10,600 uh, total views last month um you know on search it was three thousand that's somebody just googling us but on on google maps like somebody in google maps looking for us we showed up 7500 times um, this is the number of customer actions on our google listing you know 678 people went to our website from our google listing 90 people requested directions and 46 people called us it shows you the zip codes they came from. 
you see we come from the, you know most people are from the metropolitan area here's the phone calls I mean this is this is incredible information because of our volume of reviews how long we've been doing this you know we get we get more traffic from this than most dealers get from their website and certainly for us we get way more than from our website but you know to optimize your Google listing you have to have a ton of pictures you know we upload a ton of pictures of our office you know people upload their cars um, you gotta go in here fill this out and then here's a little article I found that's gonna tell us about the importance of a Google listing so 46% of Google searches have local intent, 83% get seen in discovery searches, and 64% of customers have used Google to find a local business address or phone number. So here's some different ways that you know you can improve your Google listing um, thing. And then they talk about reviews as well. According to a study, uh, conversion rates peaked at 4.9 stars and the growth spiked by 120 percent when ratings improved from 3.5 to 3.7 so just going from that little change makes a huge difference so let alone when you get up to 4.5 it makes a massive difference then of course they talk about pictures so I'll link this article below the video as well so you have all the information you need to go out there and just absolutely be obsessed about reviews I mean I'm talking about like obsessed like I will break even on a car just to get a review. Like not so much anymore, but when I was trying to get my reviews up, like I was every single day I was hammering it. I was hammering reviews. I texted every single person. I did whatever I could to get a review because it has paid off like 10 times or more. I don't even know how much it's paid off. Like it's not even measurable. So go do it. No excuses. Get those reviews up. And I will see you guys on the next video in part four.